Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, Mr. President, Honorable Ministers, both Pakistan and uh, and from Turkey, yes. uh, business business people from both the countries. Uh, I want to start my little talk by saying that after Mr. President's address to the Pakistani Parliament today, I can safely say that he can win the next election in Pakistan. <clears throat> I've seen the government benches uh, thumping their desks like they did today, but I've never seen the opposition join in thumping the desk and appreciating the speech like that happened today. So it, it's a great tribute to, uh, tribute to you, Mr. President. It shows that the love and affection people have in Pakistan, no matter which political side, political opinion they belong to, it just reflects uh, the way they perceive you as someone who stands up for causes that, that are across the Muslim world. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the object of this, this function is for me as the Prime Minister to reiterate that our government will do everything to increase trade relationship, improve trade relationship uh, with Turkey. We will be facilitating the business community, Pakistan and uh, the Turkish business community to, uh, to invest, do joint ventures. The areas which we specifically would want to invite Turkish uh, business community is number one, tourism. I myself have uh, toured, as a tourist, been to uh, Turkey quite a few times. And the way the Turkish tourist industry has been developed, Pakistan can learn a lot from it because Pakistan is one of the most untapped tourist potential anywhere in the world. In the recent magazine, uh, a top magazine from the United States, Pakistan was considered the number one tourist destination for 220. But we lack, we lack the infrastructure, which of course uh, in Turkey is very well developed. And uh, the, the, the beach tourism or the uh, tourism of visiting historical places is very well developed in Turkey and therefore that's one area we would really uh, want uh, to invite help from uh, Turkey to invest in, uh, in this sector. Then there is IT, which again, we can learn a lot, and we would, it's Pakistan with the second youngest population in the world, is, all, is another area where we would really uh, invite investment. Apart from that mining, Pakistan has huge mining potential most of it untapped, and it's another area we would welcome uh, because I know uh, in Turkey, the mining industry is far advanced than, than in our country. Agriculture, your productivity is higher in agriculture than Pakistan. We have one of the most fertile lands. We don't use our water properly. We can learn from techniques uh, uh, in Turkey. Uh, most of all, we would like to get involved in, um, in whatever Turkey can help us in whatever field, we would, we would like to uh, invite you. Uh, and, and the government will be facilitating. We have, <clears throat> we, I'm proud to say that our government is, is the most friendly, business friendly government and inshallah, in Pakistan's history, this will become the most business-friendly government. 
we have already in our first year gained 28 places in the World Bank Index of ease of doing business. And constantly we are trying to make it easier for our business community and investors uh, uh, to, to reduce the regulations and problems in their way. So finally, I would uh, again welcome all of you. Uh, and I look forward to the interaction between our own business community and, and the Turkish business community. Uh, I would like uh, our business communities to take the lead because the political leadership is, is much closer than our business community so far. So in future, I want the business community to come forward and um, benefit from this very close relationship, the political relationship which we, which we have with Turkey. Thank you.